Hello and welcome back. Okay, so you can see my processor build kind of pushed over towards the back of my desk here. But I've got a problem. These LEDs are too bright. And the only way I can think of doing anything about that is to increase the current limiting resistor on them. And that is something that with a soldering iron will be very difficult to do because you need to melt both sides simultaneously. So I've taken a bit of advice and I made a purchase. I've put tape over my address here, it made me feel like a real YouTuber. So I have bought the LW858D. Now these are pretty cheap on eBay now, but it's a hot air rework station. I think that's just the model number. So I showed you my first ever attempt at SMD soldering. So I'm going to see if I can uh, assemble this, get it going and, uh, and make a first attempt at reflow. Airflow and there's a digital display for temperature. Okay, I don't want to take this apart at the moment. But whenever I'm uh, dealing with a piece of cheap Chinese hardware, just grab the multimeter and check that the case is earthed. And if the case is earthed, there's very little that can go disastrously wrong. Because if there's a short in there of the live mains to the, uh, the case, it's just going to blow my circuit breaker. Now, one of the tutorials online had about 340 as the right one for uh, doing SMD rework. What I'd like to do is try out on one of these register boards, but I don't want to do that straight away. I do have these little boards with some SMD components on that I used in my solder test video. I don't want to use A because that was the one that uh, didn't look right. So I'm going to try a little bit of this uh, on here. I've got no idea what size I should be using here. Now, I want the air to more or less cover these resistors. So let's go medium. Okay, getting a bit of smoke off it. I wonder if that's a first use dust burning off. Seems to have stopped quite quickly. I've got no idea how long this is supposed to take. Apparently less than that long. Okay, so, all right, that's very hot still. So the components are coming off quite easily. I think I should, should have been testing that a little bit more while I was doing it. And that resistor went back in nice and easily. Okay, that board is hot. Okay, now these are the red LEDs. I'm going to swap these for 1K resistors. 
and these are for the green LEDs. I'm going to try 2K because they're quite a bit brighter. Now I could attempt to wick off the solder from here, or at least from one side of this, and, and re-solder them in the same way as I did in the first place. Okay, so that is what people mean by the airflow being too much. Okay, so the problem I'm having is this is really difficult not to send the other parts flying. That and I cannot hold it and see it with the microscope at the same time. So any way I can do this. Well, those joins all look pretty terrible. But they do look like they're making contact. Right, let's try something different on this one. I wasn't expecting to have to use this, but um, I think it's worth trying to see how effective it, it is to take the components off with the reflow gun and then put them back on with the uh, soldering iron. I'm going to try and clean off some of the solder from one side of this. So the ones I stuck over here were 1k and these green ones I'm going to try out 2k resistors on. I would say this is an awful lot more difficult now I've got these great big pins in the way. So the problem here is I wasn't able to wick away all the solder and make it completely flat. So it's a slightly more tricky job than what I'm used to doing. Okay, now my original work was far from pretty and this is all a lot worse. But that's better than I feared it was going to be when I first started this. Let's see if that works. Okay, now to look at this visually, I can definitely see these are a bit dimmer. I'm not sure how clearer they are on the camera though. 
Okay, I think looking at the screen here, I can differentiate which LEDs are on a little bit better than I could before. So I think that is an improvement. Now the process of reflowing with the hot air, that's that wasn't the easiest, most comfortable thing I've ever done. I think the second method of taking the parts off with the hot air and then uh, reapplying them the old fashioned way is probably the best way of doing it, at least at my current skill level. If anyone's got any advice on that, I would uh, be interested to hear it. I'm going to go and do the remaining boards here now, but that's probably going to be mostly fast forward unless I've um, unless I come up with anything particularly interesting to uh, comment on. Using this solder now is definitely good. Okay, so I've reassembled it all. I had a, a couple of the LEDs weren't working right, so I had to write some test code to uh, run through all the different permutations here, but you can see they're all working now. I'm not really going to be able to tell how successful this was in adjusting the over brightness. They look pretty reasonable here, but it's when I go and look in the, the final video feed once it's all edited up that I'll really know if I made the difference I wanted to. So I'm not going to attack these till later. But this was really about this thing. So my first experience of uh, using the hot air reflow, I think it went reasonably well. It wasn't quite as easy as I'd hoped, but um, it's I certainly managed to have the effect. It definitely worked out better removing components and then soldering them back on normally. Well, I'm happy I've, uh, I've got it all working. And for the price I paid for this, which was, I think, about £35, I think uh, this is a pretty good, good tool to have added to the inventory. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.